Well, we've all seen videos of the plastic pollution floating in our oceans, but there's another lesser known danger hidden at the bottom of the seas. We're talking about abandoned fishing gear and it's trapping, injuring and even killing thousands of marine animals. Here to tell us what we can do is Ingrid Giskis from the World Animal Protection Sea Change Campaign. Hello, Ingrid. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Let's talk about this. I had not heard of this ghost gear um, and I didn't know about this issue and I assume a lot of people don't. So what is ghost gear and how is it affecting our marine animals? Ghost gear is any form of lost and abandoned fishing gear that ends up in our oceans and it's often a hidden unknown problem that goes on be beneath the surface that people aren't aware of but about 800,000 tons of fishing gear um, are ending up in our oceans every year which is about 65 Eiffel Towers so it's a huge amount of plastic pollution because fishing gear is often made from durable plastics that can take up to 600 years to decompose and this lost fishing fishing gear or ghost gear is injuring, trapping and mutilating marine animals, but also harming our ecosystems and impacting on our fish stock levels. Because when fishing gear is lost, it will continue to catch and kill indiscriminately. Oh, we're seeing some videos of, of some sea life trapped and it's just, it's heartbreaking to me. It makes me so angry and upset. And I know you're a part of a campaign. It's the World Animal Protection Sea Change Campaign. What is that? So World Animal Protection's Sea Change Campaign tries to protect these marine animals from suffering from ghost gear. And the way we do that is by making sure that no more ghost gear is ending up in our oceans by working with companies and governments who can have a really big impact on the problem. Secondly, we also remove ghost gear from our oceans. So in hotspot areas around the world where ghost gear is impacting on these animals and marine ecosystems, we go out and remove the gear. And as World Animal Protection, obviously we do all of this because we care about marine animals. And so we also support rescue efforts around the world where animals are being rescued or disentangled uh, from ghost gear. Well, I love the fact that we got to see the sea lion be uh, untangled, as you mentioned, and saved and he lived. Um, but a lot of them aren't so lucky. So how can we as consumers join the campaign or, or be a part of protecting our marine wildlife from this ghost gear? So everyone can be part of the solution. And as a consumer, if you're not a fisherman or a commercial fishing company, you can still do your bit. The best thing to do is go to our website, worldanimalprotection.us, to learn more about the impact that Ghost Gear has and how you can add your voice to ask companies and governments to make a change. And on that same website, worldanimalprotection.us, you can learn a bit more about how, as a seafood consumer, you can make sure that the seafood you buy does not con contribute to the ghost gear problem by looking out for certification labels that include ghost gear into their criteria. H how do we know that something is sustainable or certified? Are there certain foods that are more sustainable than others when it comes to seafood? Definitely. So you don't need to be a technical fisheries expert to be able to know what to do. The best thing to look out for is labels such as the MSC Marine Stewardship Council label or Seafood Watch or Friend of the Sea who all have small labels on, for example, tins of tuna. So all you need to do is look for that label that indicates that that tin of tuna came from a fishery that was not contributing to the ghost gear problem um, and that did not have a harmful impact on our ecosystems and then you know that you're good and you can assume, uh, consume that uh, tuna guilt free. Ingrid, I think now that we know we cannot ignore it and I think that's what's important. So where can we go for more information? For more information, please go to the worldanimalprotection.us website. Um, and I think, you know, the more footage and videos you'll see, the more you'll be convinced that it is a huge problem and that everyone can help to be part of the solution and address it. So important. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Stay tuned. The Morning Blend will be right back after the break.